Hey everyone, I'm back, back from Spain. Lovely, refreshed, nice and tanned, five pounds heavier. So back on the diet. Uh, refreshed, ready back to uh, resell, back to the grind. So yeah, looking forward to it. So before I went away, I set my shop obviously on holiday mode, five day dispatch on, which might put off some buyers. But it was like I was never away. I've got sort of 20 odd items to pick. Uh, I'll strap you to my head. So the first video back I thought it would be one of these sort of picking ones attached to my head. You seem to enjoy them. It's easier for me to sort of edit and get out there. So yeah, I've got some padding now so I won't get a dent on my head. So uh, let's get picking. All right, and off we go. First item that sold was a Sony Walkman. I think this was actually the day as I was about to go, which is annoying. That's a display on holiday mode. Here we go. Sell these, no problem. Sony Walkman, place the CD, we all know what these are. I think I paid a couple of pounds for this. This has gone for 20. Next up is a Nutri Bullet. Something that I haven't sold before and I've forgotten where I've put it. <laughs> Look it's up here. Also, it's just like a smoothie drink maker juicing machine. I think I paid, I think I paid a bit too much really. I think I paid a 10 for this from a charity shop. Yeah, here it is. So this is just a blender, goes into the cups, put the lid on and off you go. Went for 40, which was quite nice. I think they were going for slightly less than that, but obviously pushed the higher end and got it. So all happy with that. Right, I'll come to shoes later. Big hefty speakers going out now. This will be a challenge to pack. Yeah, big hefty things, they're off to America. 85.99 I got for these. I think I paid 20 for these. I didn't really want them at the time because I knew how big they were. It's gonna be such a pain to pack and they're really heavy. But profit's profit, really good profit as well. So suck it up, get them packed and on the way they go. Ugh. Baseball gloves, something else I've never sold before. So I see the Americans put these out like Lonnie and others, but found them at an English boot sale. Uh, so this one I picked up two, a couple of pound each, and this is the one I sold. A Rawlins, I don't even know what it is. Light toe, deep well pocket. I'm not really sure what it all means, but yeah, it's a nice men's size. Twenty-two ninety-nine from two or three pound. Was it nice and like that'll go. Light package, so awesome. I'll be looking out for them more often. Another lot of pound cameras have gone. Pentax. This one here, that's handy. Was this 9.99, nothing special. Cost me a pound, obviously. There's a video about them when I picked them up. Uh, not a lot of profit, but I'm way into profit on the whole bundle as a lot. So yeah, glad to see that go. Ah, uh, this one. This was on a recent video, I believe, and I forgot where I put it. Ah, uh, here it is. Casio VL Tone sort of mini keyboard. The guy showed me it working. It was in minty fresh condition. Like, the box is, has a bit of wear, but that's to be expected. In lovely condition. Perfect. That's why I got £95 for this. And what did I pay? I think I paid 18 was it? I can't remember. I think it was £18.95. Nice and small, easy to pack. Well chuffed with that. So keep an eye on vintage Casio tone sort of keyboards, even small ones are like collectible. Standard Roberts radio, just a vintage radio. Nothing too special really, just a nice look to it. Here we go. Uh, Roberts radios tend to be on a sort of lazy Susan style. So when you put it down, it sort of rotates like this. Yeah, nice antenna, picks up FM and AM, I think, I believe anyway. So yeah, standard sale, 27.99, no frills, just a cool item. My last camper van toaster has gone out. What did I get for this one? I think I've reduced this, yeah, 39.99. I think I paid, it was five or 10 pound, quite, quite a while ago, about a year ago now. But yeah, that's the last one of them gone. Nothing more to say about that really. This was a private buy from Facebook. I bought something else off this woman. She saw, she saw my business page, like a sort of buy and sell. I'm gonna get out because I'm in a bit of a rush. <laughs> I'll pay 25, it's gone for 60. 
it's just a couple of lenses you'll see in the picture a couple of lenses nice camera a couple of cases they're private buyer so i wasn't expecting to buy this so handy profit there all right you've seen me sell these before and i'm going to say the word well, a few people for whatever reason <laughs> got annoyed that i kept saying it but bread and butter this is the ultimate bread and butter item wild and wolf trim phones they're modern but retro style they come in all sorts of different colors you normally get them cheap at boot sales because people think they're not worth much because they're modern but 24.99 plus postage from a couple of pound bill payer that is that's what i call them bread and butter bill payer typewriter brother typewriter i think this was on camera i got uh used to be his dad or something um yeah these electric typewriters are very sort of sought after like especially brother ones good brands nice and clean no yellowing paid 12 pounds for this at the boot sale got 75.99 plus postage awesome result again keeping that average sale price high a uh, medium sort of package sort of packaging it'll take some protection but nice keeping that average sale price high and good quality items next up both sound dock 50 quid bought this with a couple of other things i think this owes me about 20 so i've paid up but it's got me 50 pounds so that is sort of a healthy profit for a full-time seller as i am obviously it has the older style ipod like uh, connection so people are still after them. Bose is a really good name for speakers, as we all know. Comes with the remote and power adapter, which I'll just get out now. There's the remote, power adapter. So a complete set. Really happy with that, 50 pounds. And off it goes. A iMac keyboard. Uh, if I can find it, here it is. All this for a pound. Replaced the key. It was missing a key, which didn't put me off. This one here. Loads of sellers just sending the plain keys on their own. So if you do find these in the wild with missing keys, like the odd one or two, uh, obviously pick them up. Nice and cheap. I think this was like one thirty something delivered. So yeah, this is now turned into a nice healthy sale. Juniors, Harry Potter plates. No, I don't pick up ceramics, but these are nice sort of Harry Potter before the film started, so nice and early, sort of almost vintage. They're just a couple of collectible plates, no frills again, $18.99, another bill payer. This was a nice little Brucey bonus. It was only a £10 sale plus postage, but it came included with a set of bowls I bought from a charity shop. If I can find it. Yeah. Here we go. It came with a set of bowls that I bought from a charity shop. They were used to obviously shine up the bowls, but these are like sort of bar towels, so obviously wipe down the bar from the beer and stuff. Baby Sham, nice name, sort of collectible. So a nice little Brucey bonus. This will should go as a larger letter, which is even more of a bonus as I've charged for some reason 3 99 shipping. Little glitch there, I think. So yeah, just to note, just check all your accessories when you do buy a little bundle. Headphones. Picked up headphones with a sort of Panasonic Walkman, which isn't worth as much. It's a Sony MDR W08. It's got this funny design, sort of over the round the head in the ear type thing. Thirty pound plus postage. You will find these at boot sales and general sales, mainly attached to Walkmans, and people don't realise how much they're actually worth, especially Sony ones. Highly collectible, especially odd designs like this. So yeah, a very welcome sale there. Xbox 360 Guitar Hero. Another standard sale. This is actually my last Guitar Hero. Xbox 360 doesn't require a dongle. I think it's PS3, they require an extra dongle that plugs in to receive it. But Xbox 360 are fine. See, the neck comes off of packaging like this. Yeah, standard sale again, nothing more to say really. People still play the games. And yeah, just a nice design, and off it goes. 
And last of all is this shoes. Uh, we've got some Timberlands, which are here. Paid five pounds out of boot sale. They've gone for $27.99. Nice name, nice design for summer, for men. These sold as well, nice Asics, uh, know, women's size eight. Standard sale, $19.99 from a couple of pounds. Always do look out for Asics. Some can be worth not as much, but you get certain models, I guess the higher end models that can be worth a pretty amount. These are only 20, so sort of mid range. But again, nice and easy to package and picture. So always picking them up. Yeah, these are really cool. I'd keep these myself if uh, the wife wouldn't laugh at me. Um, but yeah, nice Air Jordans made by Nike. I think these are called Brooklyn, I believe on the back. Yeah, Brooklyn. Didn't pay much, I think a fiver for these. They've gone for a nice healthy profit. Yeah, just, oh, wish I could find these more often. Last but not least is another standard sale. Nothing too special. Nike runner suede trainers. Paid, I think it was two pounds from a boot sale, listed in May. So it took a couple of months to sell. Gone for 20, another bill payer or bread and butter item, however you say it. Oh yeah, so again, easy to picture, easy to list. Easy to send. Cracking. Nice pile there. Like I was never away, like I said. <laughs> yeah, sorry if I seem to be rushing through, but I've got to get back. Girls are going out today. So just to prove that uh, just because you go away, you can still make money. That's one of the benefits of about reselling. Obviously, most jobs, self-employed. If you're not there to do the job, you don't get paid. But I was by the pool, still ka in away. Obviously, Amazon FBA as well. I got one of the, a shipment done for FBA, so that was ticking along as well nicely. So yeah, still bringing in that money. I'll chill in by the sun and by the pool. So, awesome. Back at the boot sales, I've had to miss, obviously, a couple of weeks. I think the first week was rained off, which was a bonus. So I've only missed one week. Might be going to a midweek one. Might film that, I'm not sure yet. So don't hold me to it. But definitely back on it this weekend if there's no rain. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.